Yeah, next up on the card, we had um, we got Luis Pena versus Alexander Munoz. Um, I really like Pena here. Um, his last fight was against Kama Worthy. He lost it by submission, but um, you know, I, I feel like it, it was a real competitive fight. You know, kind of blew it, but um, he's been training with Gamrod too in camp, and Gamrod's coming off an impressive win. We just showed you, so I really like Pena here. Uh, Pena here, but what you think, Mike? Yeah, I agree with you 100%. Um, Luis Pena, he's 8-3. and three. Um, He's fighting Alexander Munoz, who's 6-1 and one, um, in, in the newcomer in this position. Luis Pena, man, I mean, the guy has a lot of talent. He's very long for the division. He's strong. He's got good jiu-jitsu. He's got uh, good striking. But Pena's last fight against, uh, like I said, was, was against Kama Worthy, and he lost by sub. And, uh, you know, I, we actually uh, bet Kama Worthy on that sub. We got plus 200, I believe. That was the big win. Uh, the first that was Conor yep. Worthy's first fight, so shout out to us for uh, that, calling that Luis Pena win. But on this one here, Pena has been uh, training with Mateus Gamrot, that dude I was speaking so highly of earlier. The dude that had the you know the sick just volume of striking. The, he he literally would throw an overhand right, go down and, and right ankle uh, left ankle pick you so fast you'd be on your ass. I just I think that training with those type of guys that is really going to help uh, Pena here because that's kind of his Achilles heel. So at the negative one forty odds. Me and T both love the, the, the reach advantage that he's going to have. Uh, I believe that he's now uh, improved his game with uh, the, his, his team. So we're at the negative 140. We're doing the 1.4 units to win one unit. So we're rolling Luis Pena. So let's fucking go. Yeah, I like this one. 